Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. I'm Laurel, and in this video, we're gonna talk about tapers. There are many calculations involved with tapers, and if you look at a machinist handbook, you will see numerous formulas given depending on what information you're given and what information you're asked to find. Most of those formulas really aren't necessary if you understand the idea of direct proportion. A taper is a rate of taper and that rate can be expressed different ways. It can be expressed as taper per foot and it doesn't mean the length of the piece is necessarily a foot long. Taper per foot tells you how much it would taper if it were 12 inches in length. Taper per inch is another unit that might be used to express rate of taper. So when you're working with tapers, you will know different pieces of information. Typically, you'd probably know the large diameter, the small diameter, and the length of the piece. And then you might be asked taper per foot or taper per inch. You could also be told one of these rates of taper and be asked to find one of these three things. I wanna do a couple of different examples to show you that we're just simply gonna use direct proportion no matter what information is given and what information is asked. Let's take a look. In our first example, it says the diameter of the large end of a taper is 1.25 inches. The diameter of the small end is 0.75 inches. The length of the taper is eight inches. The question asks, what is the taper per foot and what is the taper per inch? So what we need to do is first of all, find out what's the amount of taper over eight inches. So the amount of taper can be fine by taking the difference in the diameters. So we're going to take 1.25 inches minus 0.75 inches. So the amount of taper in this example is half an inch over a length of 8 inches. That rate of taper is consistent regardless of the length of the piece. So we're going to set it up half an inch over eight inches is equivalent to, we want to find taper per foot first, so we want to know how much it would taper over 12 inches. Direct proportion. We cross multiply, so 8x will equal six, divide both sides by eight, and we get a taper per foot equivalent to three quarters of an inch. So that means it tapers three quarters of an inch over 12 inches of length. If we wanna find taper per inch, we still take the amount it tapers over eight inches and we make that equal to how much it, we wanna find out how much it tapers over one inch. Cross multiply, Divide both sides by eight. Therefore, the taper per inch is 0 0.0625 inches. We don't need special formulas to calculate taper per inch or taper per foot. We just have to understand that it's a direct proportion. So as long as we know how much it tapers over a certain length, we can find out how much it tapers over 12 inches or one inch. Let's take a look at some examples where we know the rate of taper and we're either finding a diameter or a length. Our second example says find the large diameter of a tapered piece if the small diameter is one and a half inches, the length of the piece is four inches, and the taper per foot is 0 0.6 inches. So we know that this piece will taper 0.6 inches over 12 inches of length. That's going to be the rate. So let's find out how much it will taper over 4 inches of length. We're going to cross multiply. 12 times x will equal 0.6 times 4. Divide both sides by 12. And we get 0 0.2 inches. That's not the diameter, that's going to be the amount it will taper over four inches. 
we know our small diameter is 1.5 inches. So our large diameter will equal 1.5 inches plus 0.2 inches. So 1.7 inches. We could do the same thing if we knew the large diameter and wanted to find the small diameter, except then we would subtract the amount of taper. So we use proportion to find the amount of taper. Once we know the amount of taper and one of the diameters, we can easily find the other diameter. Let's take a look at an example where we don't know the length of the piece. In our last example, we're told the large diameter, which is two and a half inches, the small diameter, which is two and a quarter inches, and we're told the taper per foot. What we don't know is the length of the piece. Again, we're going to use direct proportion to solve this. I know the rate of taper. It's 0.3 inches per foot, which is in 12 inches of length. The amount of taper in this piece will be 2.5 minus 2.25. which is a quarter of an inch. So we know the amount of taper is a quarter of an inch. What we don't know is the length of this piece. So as long as we've got three values in our proportion, we can solve for the fourth value. Again, we're gonna cross multiply. So it'll be 0 0.3 times L equals 12 times 0.25 is three divide both sides by 0 0.3 and we get 10. So the length of this piece is 10 inches. As I mentioned, if you were to look up tapers in a machinist handbook, you're going to see a number of different formulas. There will be a formula for finding the length of a piece depending on what other information you know. There will be another set of formulas for finding the large diameter depending on what information you know and so on and so on. I like to keep it simpler than that. I just look at this as a direct proportion, knowing that the rate of taper has to equal the rate of taper. It stays constant. So as long as you know a rate of taper, either taper per foot, taper per inch, or actual amount of taper over the length, that will equal the rate again where one of the values will be missing. Once you have your proportion set up, you just cross multiply and solve.